All right, this week we're going to be talking about tip. Tip is a percentage of money that is given to the person typically providing the service. And it's normally anywhere between 15 or 20 percent, just depending upon how good the service was. So just like what we did with tax, we're going to use a proportion to find tip. Here's the easy part. It's the exact same one. So it's going to be the money that you're buying with or the money that you're spending over the 100 percent is equal to the money that you are paying in tip. So that's the only change. Last week this was tax, this week it's tip. And then it's over the percent that you were paying in tip. So remember from last week as well, you're always given the 100% oops, and you're always given the percent tip. Typically you're either finding this one or this one. So let's take a look at an example. Miss Pilcher and Miss Harden Riley go to Chili's after school on Friday. Miss Pilcher's bill is $15.66. The service was excellent and she leaves a 15% tip. How much is the bill, including tip? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the proportion that I'm going to use to fill out. So remember, that's the money that you buy. Oops. Why does that do that? Oop, there we go. So it's the money that you're buying over the 100 percent is equal to the money in tip money in tip over the percent tip so let's read our problem one more time and underline or circle anything important i'm going to use ret for this so we go to chili's after school on friday my bill is fifteen dollars and sixty six cents so that's a number so i know i'm going to circle it the service was excellent and she leaves a 15% tip. Well, there's my other number that I know I need to circle. How much was the bill including tip? So I'm going to start our underlined bill including tip. So that means that I need to do two things. I need to find the tip. So find tip. And then I'm going to need to add tip. to bill total. Alright, let's get to solving. I'm going to use purple because I like purple. So I'm going to draw my two proportion lines. So the money that I'm buying, which is the one that goes in this top spot right here, is this $15.66. So I'm going to go ahead and put 15 point, oops, not 16 cents. 15.66 cents. I got a hundred percent of my food because I was full. And don't now I have this 15% tip. Well I know my percent is on the bottom, so I'm gonna put my 15% right here. So that means my X goes here and I'm ready to cross multiply. So I'm gonna cross multiply this way. So a hundred times X gives me one hundred X, which is equal to now we're going to go the other way, $15.66 times 15. Let me multiply that right now, because remember when you cross multiply, you multiply them, you don't divide them. When I do that, I get 15.66 times the 15% gives me 234 and 9 tenths. So now I want to get the X by itself. So I'm going to divide each side by what is with the X. So that's 100. So then this 100 goes away. Now I am left with just X on this side is equal to 249 and 9 tenths divided by 100 gives me 2 and 349 thousandths. Now, since we're dealing with money, that need, means we need to round. So money is always out of two spots. So I'm going to look to the right of that four. If it's bigger than five, I'm going to round up. Nine is definitely bigger than five. So that means that I'm going to be paying $2.35 in tip. 
So according to my checklist over here, I've already found the tip. So now the second thing says I need to add tip to the bill total. My bill total was $15.66, so I'm going to have $15.66 plus $2.35. Remember, when you add decimals, you always line up the decimal spot. 6 plus 5 is 11. Carry my 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. Plus 3 is 10. Bring my decimal point down. Make sure I carry my 1. 5 plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and then I just bring my other one down. So that means that I pay a total of $18.01 for my bill at Chili's.